obviously during lockdown i've been getting into different things to kind of occupy my mind keep me distracted and obviously keep me entertained and i happened to stumble upon this podcast called red scare last year i've been it's, about, it's been about a year since i've listened to it so i thought i'll give a little bit of a review of my um review of the pod and what i'll kind of glean and get from it so essentially red uh, scare podcast is a culture comedy podcast here according to google a uh, human podcast founded in march 2018 hosted by dasha uh, whatever her surname is and anna whatever her surname is the show has been associated with dirt bag left and has been described as a cut as a critic of feminism capitalism from deep inside the culture they've spawned so essentially they're sort of like without being mean they're art hoes that put together a really cool podcast it's sort of like the cool hipster girls that you might have met in a williamsburg warehouse rave back in the day or what's that other place everyone used to go at is it the ba the bowery what's the other one as well that was kind of the alibi new york um is it max fish right those kind of girls that would have hanged around those kind of places they would have been friends with um jason deal they would have been friends with Aaron Bondaroff. They would have been friends with that girl, that woman that writes that amazing art blog where she posts pictures of her going to art exhibitions. I think it's New York City blog or something, Art City or something. But, you know, they would have been in that kind of crew. So they're pretty cool. And of course, you know, they're super big fans of uh, Camille Paglia and all that good stuff. Um, what's his name? The guy that's always kind of spitting. Um, Zizek, whatever his name is, right? That those kind of intellectuals and it's pretty cool I, I have to be honest it's a good way to sort of unplug from the daily rigors of um, life they obviously offer you a different perspective and the fact that they're sort of self-owned they've got a hell of a lot of um backers on patreon i think they they earn about i'm gonna say a lot on patreon it doesn't matter i'm gonna click on it but it's a lot of money on patreon right in the thousands so they're able to be a little bit more freer with what they say they don't have sponsorships or anything there's no ad reads in between no mid rolls no stupidness of that and they just kind of you know review cultural um stuff that's happening in the zeitgeist whether it's a latest matt taibi article of some crazy thing someone wrote in the vox or something like that and again, um, loads of really good um, recommendations in terms of TV series and movies to watch. I love what they do, all that sort of stuff. They have really good movies, uh, reviews that I sometimes put behind a paywall. Sometimes they're free. Um, I think it's recorded twice a week, but I just listen to it whenever it's out. I don't really keep a schedule of what they're doing. Um, and yeah, it's nice to hear. I think the only criticism I have with it, you, it takes a while to get used to the flipping uh, vocal fry the, uh, and the sort of like um, ambivalence and, uh, you know, that kind of, it's a quintessential hipster attitude where every, they're kind of over everything, but they have an opinion about everything. Um, Anna is sort of the one that's always um, the girl with the hot takes. That's the girl with the brunette, um, the dark hair. Um, uh, Dasher is obviously, Dasher makes me laugh because towards the end of the podcast, whenever it hits about an hour, she has like a little clock inside of her that makes her go tired. And she starts yawning. And so I think that's it. And they get really tired. So, and, you know, they kind of make this joke that they don't really like working hard, which is funny. Um, I didn't watch it. I didn't listen to it when this third girl was in. She was, I think, uh, one of the producers, but I think they had a bit of a falling out and she went about her own way. Oh, they did the runway show. I didn't know that. When did they walk a show? Is that, um, is that Art House Public School? What is that? What's that show is for? doesn't matter okay they did a runway show i didn't know that but anyway um they're cool girls i'm a big fan of them again the podcast show is pretty interesting i recommend you check it out red scare podcast available on the platforms you need to be on and they've obviously got a patreon too they should definitely jump on because i'm sure you'll get a lot of good stuff they, they did a really cool t-shirt um an isis t-shirt that i kind of regret not getting a hold of myself man it looked flipping sick um and that completely sold out i think yeah this is it here this is dasha wearing a t-shirt here as you can see they don't you know they uh they're big fans of intermittent fasting over the years because they're hella hella slim which is uh funny as well because uh, you feel like some of the some of the criticisms they get online from people does stem from them being a little bit aesthetically um obsessed right how they present themselves and what they put on their social media feed um then they don't really have a face for radio you know if that, that needs to be said you know don't get me wrong you know just standard you know white girls from new york but but they don't really they're not like you know they don't look like some of those you know some of those sort of like um crazy lefty sort of podcast girls right where they essentially kind of uh <laughs> they're kind of ugly you know you know what i mean right they're kind of ugly these girls aren't you know typically ugly but they're not you know 
you know, you know what I mean. So I think they get a little bit of criticism from that. But I enjoy the podcast, man. I'm a big fan of it. I love, I love what they do. I love the topics they talk about. Again, um, very interesting um, range of topics. Uh, they made me kind of um, like Leonard Dunham a lot more. They obviously made me like um, Lana Del Rey too a little bit more with obsession with them too. So it's a cool thing. And obviously, I'm a big fan of their logo. Um, their artwork cover of their podcast is pretty cool. It's maybe one of the best ones I've seen for a while. It's basically a lady bending over with a tramp stamp, say red skin with a fong being ups, um a fong being exposed and of course some topics here regarding caroline calloway our favorite regular white girl out there but yeah it's a good podcast man. i recommend you check it out it's really really interesting um red scare podcast available on all the platforms that you know where podcasts exist jump on it get involved support the ladies they're recording a pod and all that good stuff